So let's talk about this Chengdu team. We know that the fans seem to love the Panda logo, but who on the roster stands out? If you're looking at their tanks, their DPS, the healers, where's the strength of this squad? Uh, well, the first thing to note as well, actually, is that you might be expecting to see Silkthread on that lineup as well. He was originally picked up for the team, but he's decided to retire from Overwatch professionally. Right. So the previous player for the LA Gladiators is not going to be available for the Chengdu Hunters. But I've got to give props for Chengdu for going for a full Chinese approach. You know, all of these players, are, they're going to be speaking Mandarin. There isn't going to be that communication issue. And we know that there is talent in the Chinese scene. Guys like Lei Young, Ivelto, you like, you should be aware of those guys by now. So I think those are going to be key players. Yeah, I, in particular, I am going to be paying attention to these two guys because me and you, Josh, we covered the Thailand World Cup stop. Certainly we did. saw these guys in action. We saw them as well at the finals, and it was honestly a ridiculous part of this team is how well they work together. I'm really excited. I'm really hyped for seeing how well they do in the 2019 season overall. I'm looking forward to Gary. Gary! Gary. Is it just yes. for the name? Is, it, is that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Is just that for all his you name. Have? Okay. It's such an amazing alias, though. I don't even know. I don't Mitch is going to have a field day when he's casting <laughs> that. That's all I'm saying. Like, have you seen the video of the of the Australian bloke with a goat called Gary? Yes. There's so much, <laughs> so much potential there. No There's so yeah. much potential we'll, there. We'll show it to you on YouTube that. a little Thank bit you. later.